I can understand thinking yeah. you don't need, it, but again, he's forties. So what's going on behind there? Let's find out. And he's willing to go mm -hmm. and get his blood work done. So we can kind of take a look at the savage and see if there's any little, like yesterday I was doing some research mm -hmm. and I realized my D level was ex still, even though I'm taking vitamin D with K2, yeah, I'm right. still taking a low dose. So, um, that's a that's a crazy story for itself, but this is a guy that's really up on it, and I'm still fumbling a little bit. Johnny, yes, it is sir. the final day of the month. What does that mean for Titan Medical? Yeah. Is that us or his? You're you're freezing on our set. I see that. Um for, for the beginning of the week. I'm sorry. It was cutting well, out on me, Mike. I apologize. No sweat. no sweat. It is the final day of the month, and I think this is like a real big uh, okay, let's uh, hello to everybody. It is. Is that your side or ours? What do you want to do? We're good. Um, you do freeze a little bit. You want to hang up and call back? You're freezing too on my end. Okay. Yes, let me try that one more time. Let's try that. Guys, hold up for one second. We're going to keep moving. I mean, it seems this like it's working board. now. All right. Let, good let's go, now. Mike, because it seems like it's moving now. Yeah. I understand it's it's uh, the final day of the month, and that today is one of those specials on blood work. Hey, get it in. Let's get going. Yes. Talk yes, to us. Yes, yes, yes. Sure, sure. So this week, this whole week, and of course, this is the last day of the month. Um, so this week, we've got blood work specials. For everybody, for new patients, for old patients, for males, for females. So this really gives you no excuse to find out what's going on inside. Um, if you've never got blood work before, you haven't gotten in a long time, this is the time to do it. Because not only are we looking at just, you know, your major organs like your liver, your kidneys, electrolytes, blood cell counts and such. But we're looking at in-depth panels like your hormones, free and total testosterone levels, progesterone levels, estrogen levels growth hormone levels, B12 levels, full thyroid, full cholesterol you're going to get. And a guy, we're going to look at our PSA, and obviously PSA, prostate cancer, is on the on the rise, so that's a big one. Um, and make sure that everything is healthy on the inside. And if something's off, then you can make a change or have the education. You're educated about what's going on inside your body, and if you want to make that change or want to make a solution to that change. So at that point, this is your time. And you can call or text us, 727-389-3220. Anywhere in the country, nationwide, very simple, very easy to do. You get results expedited in three to four business days. And you're not going to find a more inexpensive blood panel, apples to apples, like you're going to get through Titan Medical Center. So for guys, it's 130 from 200. And for girls, it's 200 from 300. So at that point, you're going to get all the testing. And the next question I usually get after that is, why is the girl's test more ex expensive than the male test? And there's more hormones on that testing panel than the guys. So at that point, that's why girls have more hormones or it's more expensive, I guess, than the guys test. Um, another one we have uh, you know, an offer on right now is IGF-1 R3 too as well. That's the therapy of the week. So we want to do the blood testing for people, make sure that they can get you know the test done. And at that point, if they want to do another special, then IGF-1 R3 is going to be the next one. And this one is obviously going to be a great one for – anti-aging purposes, um, you know, making sure that you recover faster, better libido, better hair, skin, nails, the whole nine. Um, so weight loss, putting on lean body mass, you know, IGF-1 R3 is going to be another one. And you get a discount on IGF-1 R3 if you order this week too as well. Um, some of the topics, I, I hope everybody got all that. So um, some of the topics I would like to talk to you about is um, – secondary like um we talk a lot about peptides which again is my baby i love it i want yep. to talk about uh, your multi injectable because of the fact that um i realized that i was not taking still enough d um mm -hmm. and again uh, i know some people and i know that my significant other is terrible on taking supplementation Mm -hmm. Um, and so, and, and another thing I, I, I got to make sure that she's been locked down and I don't know if anybody else has this problem. 
yeah, not locked down. I don't have her in a box. <laughs> all, uh, let her out every once in a while. Get the gimp. Let them out. That's um, right. Get the gimp. I, I, uh, we had two movies. We had the traveling and everything. And so, uh, yeah. she focuses on the family. She's pretty incredible. She focuses on the family. And, and keeps me grooving and gets the important things in for like the filming and everything like that, mm -hmm. which means that she's not getting enough time for herself. Right. And so uh, my curiosity is the um, Mac, uh, the proper terminology again, I, I, I went blank on it, uh, that stimulates the body in a way that it thinks it's working out. Oh, Matsi. Oxy. Matsi, M-O-T dash C. Oh, M O T S dot C. Sorry, Mots. Mots. C. Like the Mots. I got the Mots. Okay. So this is one that I think would help her. But besides her getting her ass to the gym, I think is, is a key point. But D vitamin for women, uh, for energy, um, is another one. Even if the woman is optimizing her health yeah. through my Titan Medical. There's yep. still some additional things you need to take care of and take care of yourself. It's like the multivitamin, and, and she doesn't like vitamins. Right. So you have a multivitamin injectable. Yep. Can you tell us about the uh, the contents of that? And will that be sufficient for her for the D's and stuff like that? Sure. So, um, you know, so Titan Complete's like our, our overall, over, all around, I guess, multi vitamin injectable um and it doesn't have all the vitamins so when people say oh well am i gonna get a am i gonna get e am i gonna get d right probably not uh the only reason let me tell you why is what you will get in titan complete is mic methionine and acetylcholine which is going to help process the fats faster through your body you're going to get full b complex b1 through b6 and b12 you're going to get branched chain amino acids, leucine, isoleucine, and valine. You're also going to get L carnitine that's in it. So, this is a you're getting a lot. You get, you're getting a lot of bang for the wow. buck as far as what you're injecting and what you're getting out of it. Yeah. You know, but all these are water soluble vitamins, right? And this is a water soluble injection. Now, when we start talking about E and we start talking about D, right. these are oil based injectables. Yes. Um, and then when we really talk about vitamin D, vitamin D, yeah, it says vitamin D, but vitamin D is really a hormone. So it's not even, it's not a vitamin. It's right. technically a hormone. If you look it up, definition of vitamin D, it's a, it's a hormone in the body. So this is something that we really want to look at. Now, vitamin D plays an important role in our body in so many different ways. With energy, with renal function, with testosterone, there's many things that vitamin D plays a part in. So we want to make sure vitamin D is optimal. Now, the problem is, is that a lot of people are deficient or bottom end low on vitamin D. And these aren't people that are sitting in the basement that look like they're pale. These are people that are tan. Yep, you me, no, right? I'm pale. I, I'm spray you don't tan. Look pale, though. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, you know, so, you know, there's a lot of people out there that go out in the sun for 15 minutes a day and they still, their body doesn't convert the vitamin D properly in their body. So they're still low. So even if I went and when we go on vacation, you're going to see, I'll go out in the sun all day long with, without any sunscreen or if there's very little, which is bad for me, I know. But, uh, you know, I'll go out there and at that point I've, I've tested myself and, and still had low vitamin D levels and I'll, I'll be dark as hell. So wow. it's not like, it's not, it's not like, you know, getting sunlight is the end all be all. And people think that they're like, all right, listen, for a healthy vitamin D level, I'll go out in the sun, I'll get 15 minutes a day and that's what I need. And it's just not true. I, I don't know why our body doesn't convert it like it should. But this is why so many people are vitamin D deficient. So, you know, getting vitamin D levels up is important. And at that point, you're either going to have to supplement with an oral supplement that's going to work very well. Or if you're not doing something like that, then because there are a couple on the market that I've used and blood tested because I wouldn't just back any supplement line. So at that right. point, I'm like, all right, let me try this. Because, you know, a couple of my patients and told me like, hey, listen, I was taking this. I we, we blood tested their vitamin D level and it came out, looked all right. And I was like, mm. I was like, all right, well, let me try this. So I did do it. It did work. But for a lot of people out there, there's a lot of garbage supplements on the out there and it's not going to help you. Um, we do have an injectable vitamin D where you can take one shot a week, 50,000 IU or 100,000 IU, and you're good to go for the whole week. So 
Wow. Yes. It's it's something that somebody can do. Now, vitamin D stays in our body, right? It stays in our body. And that's why it can build up and you don't want too much vitamin D. So if you're overboard on vitamin D, there's actually a guy in the UK just died of vitamin D because he took too much of it over a long extended period of time. And it actually raised different levels in his body. Like um, it wasn't sodium. It was some other factor. And at that point, that's what killed him. So at that point, uh, yeah, vitamin D needs to be looked at. So we do blood tests for vitamin D too. It's not on the full in depth one, but we can add it on for 25 bucks. And you can see where your vitamin D level is. And I recommend everybody do something like that. And when patients come back to us and like, oh, I'm still feeling tired and all their numbers look dialed in, then I'm like, we need to look at vitamin D levels. And we look at vitamin D levels and most of the time, I would say eight out of 10 times, Mike, people are deficient on the lower bottom end. Well, um, that being said, we got this, uh, this savage right here. What's going on, man? How you doing? Hello, how are you, man? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Mike was filling me in. So, yeah, we were talking, uh, so this is Tony peptides. This is big Johnny. The CEO. Nice to meet you. Official. So what's up, John? How are you, man? Doing great, man. Doing great. I hope you're doing well too. Before you jump into what we're going to talk about, I just want you to tell everybody here, you're off in two weeks to do what? Go shoot season four of the Righteous Gemstones, HBO. Yes, I love that show, dude. I do McBride, all that. I've watched every episode. Thank you, man. Thank you, dude. Yeah, yeah I, I could not be more excited to get back to South Carolina and Beautiful. figure out what we're Beautiful doing next. To shoot it. Super pumped about that. Super pumped. And then, how much can you tell us about the uh, Owen Wilson and Woody Harrelson movie? I can't tell you too much, man. I, I tell you, um, so it takes place. I'm doing this this film with Woody Harrelson and Owen Wilson. It takes place around the 1984 Olympics where oh, some wow. girls are going missing. It's kind of based off of a true story. And uh, two was, detectives are on the case. And um, there's some cool. psycho suspects out there. Oh, <laughs> I'm not going to name names. <laughs> so... Yeah, I'll give everybody a, a feedback from my point of view on this man sitting next to me. He is, yes, an actor, and, and that's how he pays the bills and stuff. But he is an absolute savage of an athlete, D1 athlete, uh, also a, a fellow brother of Taekwondo, um, and uh, also a, a wrestling and wrestling mentality has never left. This is true, dude. Right. Awesome. And I think. Any parent out there, get your kid into wrestling. It, it sets that kid to uh, handle life. Forget being a badass. It, it helps you handle yeah. life better. Taekwondo too, man. Yeah. My brother, yeah, my brother and I, we were just, we were just in Vegas. We just missed you guys, but we were talking about like that discipline. You know, we were little kids, and not only that, but just that knowing your body when they're yeah. when you're that young and the technique and you know. All of that stuff and the stretching. I mean, when you know, I and I was a little fat kid, and I still do. To That's hard day, to believe that the way really? you look. Well, right? or is but my, menta but but my you, mentality. You will though. always be that fat kid. Exactly, That's dude. oh, good insight. Yeah, good insight. I love that. Now, something you were telling me is yeah, that. Yeah. So I got sober. Okay, that's a good start. Yeah, good start. But <laughs> then I replaced. You know, basically, I replaced drinking and drugging with. Uh, running marathons in, in, in oh. around like 11 marathons wow in like probably a five six year period okay wow. and just uh was that's uh, a good that's a good flip <laughs> <laughs> was in mexico running on the beach and one of my legs just totally locked up freaked out i, you know, I went and saw a buddy of mine who's an ortho here in la and he's like yeah dude you got tears in both of your meniscus oh my god yeah yeah. That's painful. Yeah. So, I mean, that's a great lead in here. And I'm, I'm sitting there. It's cool that we're training together. And he tells me that. And he's still dealing with things. Okay. And, and we kind of put the training around making sure those ligaments are strong, mostly because he's he's killing it. And so if we can yeah. just keep this boy, keep killing it. Man, I, I, I want to see. I want to see people that are succeeding continue to succeed or want to succeed continue to succeed. Yeah. So I talked about, and he even mentioned it, BPC, and uh, yeah. Uh, it, so talk to us, peptides for his sure. ligaments, cartilage, his joints, yeah. his cartilage, sure. all that. 
Sure. So obviously, listen, if you're having injuries like that, especially torn meniscus in both legs, that, that really sucks. So I am sorry about that, but not Is the end of the world. Right. right? So, um, sure. you know, muscles, tendons, ligaments, joints, you know, there's different things out there that can help some of these different things help repair them or recover or revitalize better, I guess, to a certain extent. And that's when we talk about BPC 157 and TB 500. So these are amazing healing peptides um, that create new blood cell or blood vessels to the area to heal the areas. Um, so at that point, like, you know, we've had amazing success with so many of these different peptides. I've used these peptides for over eight years myself. Um, and I'm bone on bone in my shoulder right now. So at that point, like I've been lifting for like that for a couple of years. Um, you know, so that what it does is it helps take away inflammation too in the body. So, you know, when I wake up in the morning, I'm in a lot of pain. And then when I take my shot, it literally, it drags out the pain, like within minutes, I would say, and I feel a lot better. I'm ready to go. Um, but for a lot of people out there that have, they've had torn or tears like yourself, this is what they've went with to heal themselves. And they've definitely done that in so many different aspects, meniscus, especially for sure. hundred percent. So whether it's a chronic or it's an acute injury, most of the time, these are your go-to. Now I'm not going to say it's going to, you know, heal your bone or grow your bone or anything like that or stimulate, but it is going to help repair those different things that we talked about, those soft tissues. Um, yeah. And like I said, a lot of people, like you know, they don't want to do surgery. This is definitely the first step I would say for somebody to try. Um, obviously there's some different things like we talked about, like PRP and stem cells, Mike knows about, um, but this would probably be your first step and probably get you a lot of relief. I would say six to eight weeks and you're probably going to be feeling a lot better. Usually after the first couple of shots, you're, you're like, oh man, like I can move a little bit better, you know? And at that point doing the rehabilitation that you need to do is going to be key. At the same time. Yeah. I think I took, I think I took like a year and a half off of running at all, which yeah. You know, going from running 11 marathons to all of a sudden not having that, that's like not having the gym, you know? Yeah. But yeah. I think over the, t over time, you know, since I took so much time off, like I've become so much more like, okay, I want to run when I'm playing lacrosse. Right. <laughs> and that's, you know, I'll do maybe a jog a week right. uh, now and the rest of the cardio stuff doing on the bike, you know, mm -hmm. uh, I'm not doing those crazy runs anymore. I, I don't need to. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Short blast, short blast. Exactly. But I, I think, you know, and I think, I think my ortho even said, you know, you should look into some of these, uh, you know, peptides and, and love that, you know, so ortho yeah. recommended that now. Yeah. So it, I, think, it's, I think even with, with that, he was like, you know, what's your pain threshold? Yeah. And I said, well, when I'm sprinting and he goes, wait, yeah. <laughs> He goes, you're sprinting. <laughs> and goes, yeah. And he goes, well, call me when you're not sprinting anymore. <laughs> oh wow. So oh, like, for me, this is all like. See why stuff, I train with him? You know? Yeah, I see that. That's all right. Hardcore. I love it. I, I got I got a video of him squatting today, and if you could see the range of motion and the way I I tweaked his knees, you'll go, what? He's oh, got. Wow. Yeah, it's just it's a, it's a cool thing to see, and so those two peptides are highly recommended. And I Absolutely. know you said something like this. There's other things like PRP yeah. um, and stem cell. I did those together, right? Um, just because I did PRP, I didn't stop my um, uh, TB500 or the BPC. Yeah, no, I didn't yeah, stop it's... for me. Yeah, this is... it complements it. If anything, you know, you yeah. want more more things fighting at what the problem is. So I mean, that's. It's not not somebody who's like, oh, do I have to choose between this? But no, if you want to just go heavy artillery, that's kind of where it is. I mean, and then what when we the talk, one, what was the other one you mentioned in so addition T to BPC? TB five hundred, thymosine beta four. It's, that's that's what it is. With TB five hundred, explain the difference between these two and how you inject them. Sure. So they're really pretty similar to a certain degree. The only difference is is that BPC one five seven. That comes from like the gastric juices in your stomach and it's more of a site specific injectable. So if you have like a shoulder injury, then you're going to go sub Q with a little insulin needle, like right over the injury subcutaneous, you know, go there and absorb. The most beta four or TB 500, the way that it works, it works systemically throughout the body. So you can inject it, let's say here, and it's going to work over here too as well. Now, usually what I would tell patients or my friends 
I would say, listen, put them both in the exact same needle and inject them in the exact same place. Even if TB500 works systemically throughout the body, why not inject it closer to the area so it's not traveling as far? If you're injecting both together, they're working both system, um, systemically or systematically together. Um, and at that point, you'll get a, probably a better result. I mean, I've always done it like that. Most of the patients have always done it like that. It's a lot easier than sticking yourself twice too as well, a little insulin needle. I mean, it's nothing big, but like I said, if you can do it both at the same time and get the better result, then I think that's the best way to do it. And that's the way I do it. So, And then um, there's one more thing is that uh, for a short period of time, that's yeah. what you had me on for protocol. Yeah. I'm just grinding my body down right now is yeah. you had me morning and night. So I was doing it both times. So I'm technically he could shoot left yeah. knee in the morning and right knee at night. Sure. Um, uh, both of them. Um, sure. Just to take eight weeks of hardcore recovery. Yeah. As he's sprinting, playing uh, uh, lacrosse, <laughs> squatting with me. <laughs> Yeah, um, yeah, so <laughs> dude, I'll take a I'll take a lacrosse stick to the knee over doing oh. the squats we were doing today. You uh, know, so that's that's one thing to look at, right? That one aspect. And you can inject both knees at the exact same time, not a problem. The other the other aspect that I would look at if you're doing for something like that, um, is I would look at you know, possibly a GHRH or an IGF one type. That's what I was gonna ask. Scenario. Is there anything else outside that would help the Technically, the body, and, and, and I think this is what you're saying, the body will recover better, which will help that as well. Is that right? Is going Absolutely. To the Absolutely. So I would do like a GHRH or like IGF-1. So it's like Tessamorolin, IGF-1 R3, or CJC-1295 with Iperolin. The reason I would do something like that is because you want to raise your growth hormone levels, your IGF-1 levels. And if you can raise them naturally with these, great. Cool. So, some, some people would use growth hormone, whatever it may be. But at that point, what's going to happen is, is you're going to raise your growth hormone levels in your body. And by doing that, that's where recovery really comes into play too as well. So you're going to repair faster, you're going to recover you're faster. Again. Yeah, so it, it's basically like you're younger, right? And when your IGF-1, your growth hormone is producing, you can recover a lot faster, revitalize a lot faster, damage things, come back a lot quicker. Um, so that's really what I would do. That would be the third part into that equation where it's just going to help you heal faster all the way around. It's going to give me bigger arms too. Well, you know, if you work out and train, of course. <laughs> yeah. That's a good protocol, not just for him, but for anybody out there that wants to, again. And then and also, I, I think you and I agree on this, and Johnny, you 100%. Be preventative. That's what I was going to say. Be preventative. Yeah. I know you that you're injured. hearing this because his knees are a little wonky um, tonky, <laughs> but imagine whatever age you are and you're starting to feel something so stop that do it preventative so you doesn't get bad because it's right. easier to keep you healthy than it is to fix you yeah yeah so. yeah yeah baby stretch stretching and mobility man yeah. i mean we're doing those squats in there and and we're doing you know half a plate one plate just for our first two warm-ups to right. get the whole range of motion before we're diving into anything heavy right which i'm like Man, you take high school Tony or college Tony, and it's just like, let's let's go. You know, show no. cross field, full sprint, no stretching, no nothing. Like, what are we thinking, man? The good old days. Yeah. <laughs> we could get away with it. Yeah. That's right. That's Could right. We? Now, you know what I mean? That's what I'm saying. Like now I'm like, you can get, get away with it back then. Now it's like, ah, we're old. We're, we're you know, we're we're mileage. Like, yeah, the, the, the wear and tear. I mean great point. You know, it, it, can't do things like you do did back and then think about back then you bounce right back up you know i mean now it's like oh you know my back uh, my knee or my you know my shoulder or something's bothering you back in the day when you're a kid man you know it's like bumper cars you ran into somebody and got right back up football you hit somebody you got right back up now it's like oh i'm gonna take a second yeah, i've got like yeah. injuries i'm like wait what <laughs> what did i do I, 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 uh, in addition to the two knees last last summer i was playing lacrosse and i I tore my plantar plate on the bottom of my foot. Oh, oh yes. Wow. Happens to a lot of wrestlers. How does the, the, shoes, the shoes, the bending yeah. of the, the toes. Yeah. And a lot of dancers, too. Because ballet ballet people. Oh, ballet. Uh -huh. I only know about stripper dancers. Uh -huh. Vegas, sorry. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> but he's the fine man, ballet. So is yes. the, uh, <laughs> the summer ballet. So yes. I, I want to jump back for two seconds because you said something that was smart is that if you guys are out there and you're a youngster and you're you're you can walk into the gym and start hitting. And I did this. I warmed up with 225 during yeah. my powerlifting years, you know, 16, 17. And I'd laugh at people, you 135, you little. And it's like, I look back and I go, if you could go slow and get less mileage at that stage, which I yell at you, Johnny, about sunblock. I sunblock, know. when you're young, yeah. allows you to be old with healthy skin. And Agreed. same thing, that you just, great point. That if you guys, and I know this is tough because we were young, we didn't listen to anybody older, right? It, and Definitely so not. if you guys can be smart, stretch, like you said, go in yeah. there, slow down on the beginning, regardless if you're a badass, because I know you're all badasses. You can all right. out train me, but, <laughs> but slow down. We're just trying to give you some advice that may help you guys. And as parents, it will help your kids. Yeah, man. Like, look at these guys. In the NFL, look at, you know, the MMA guys, these boxers, half the videos they're putting out are there is their mobility routine yep. before they're even getting out on the map or the, or the field, you know? Yep. So someone brought it. Yeah, See I mean, how later. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, oh, 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 yeah. Try to pop the top. <laughs> See those abs, dog. <laughs> hey, nice to meet you, Johnny. Nice to meet you too, man. Hey, congratulations and good luck on filming. Thanks, this week, buddy. let's go again. Yeah. This week. Because you're only here for two more weeks. Let's get it in. It. Let's get this shit in, right? <laughs> if you're right. here, let's train. That's right. You're losing to South Carolina in a TV show. That's all right, man. He's going to go succeed. <laughs> That's right. HBO, here you go. Yeah. I think these That's are awesome. great points he brought up, though. Just... Uh, I love having somebody new come in and, and, and lay us down like that. Absolutely. It's always Mostly, uh, someone at that kind of level. It's, it's just, you know, it's, it's cool to see somebody that's at that level. Also just so down to earth. Yeah. And fun loving and, and fun to train with. Very but cool. guys, check out his show, his new movie. He's going to be filming. Uh, everything here is again, to help you guys understand this. And again, I'll just refresh. Um, for him somehow to uh, raise his growth hormone level, um, IGF one, yep. uh, and uh, that that's uh, a peptide, a great peptide at night, naturally raises your testosterone. Uh, sorry, uh, your growth hormone. Sorry about yep. that. And then go back to the my foundation, the TB five hundred and the BPC. Yeah. And then again, just like Johnny's talking about, uh, you got a multivitamin to help mm -hmm. your body run functionally. And if you have to get a D from somewhere else or from John, yeah. go. Um, and again, like I said, PRP, stem cells, those are great too. All these things I think are great. And I think within a year, you're going to see that Titan Medical and you can go there to do the PRP. Yeah. I think I am so excited about that next Me too. P Me too. I'll Titan be shooting myself up like every week with PRP. <laughs> it's <laughs> kid. You, you, Titan Medical is taking over the nation already, already in the front run. But you guys are at another level and it's exploding. And I see everything that the team is doing and you're doing. Yes. Um, and it's it's great to see. It's great to have you a part of it. Oh, man, it's it's for real. It, as much as you guys see of this and how fun it is, it really is uh, a blessing. A blessing because it, 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 it is so fun. And it, it is what I thought uh, Johnny stood for when we first started talking and meeting is 100% what he lives. There's, okay. there's, there's, uh, Johnny's Johnny. He's That's like it. Mona. He's like, what you see is what you get. That's it. What you see is what you get. I like, I like to be, uh, you know, somebody comes up to me, it's the exact same person I see on here. So, you know, that's the way to be. He does make me tired because I watch his <laughs> stories and he sends me videos. This man doesn't take, I, I don't maybe take a day off, but I lay down, I get my naps. Yeah. <laughs> I love my naps. This man is seven days a week going to, he was James Bond this weekend, him and yeah. Beautiful wife, <laughs> and uh, it's like, hey, don't worry, tomorrow I'm gonna relax and do something. 
next thing you know, he's out there with the Lambo somewhere. It's yeah. like, yeah. I love it. I love it. I wish more people had that kind of energy yes. to live life like that. Because, yeah. yes, I'm talking about him being moving stuff. But, Johnny, you really do have an energy that it doesn't stop. I try not to, man. I mean, I listen, I, I, I know, you know, I only got a short time on this earth. I optimize myself. I feel great every day. That's that's a major part of it, I think. And at that point, like, I just want to progress every day. I want to take Titan to new levels. I want to take my family to new levels, my friends around me. And um, I just want to do good, man. That's it. I, I feel like, like I said, I got a limited amount of time here. And, uh, you know, I just I want to live the best life that I possibly can. And that's the Titan lifestyle, which we live at that point. Um, you know, just do good, man. I want to do good. I want everybody around me to do good. And I just want to be happy. That's it. But if you got that kind of energy and you're really you got the same amount of hours in the day that anybody else does, but you're 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 not busy, you're productive. And yeah. if somebody else could have that kind of focus and energy, everybody that's listening to this, think about that. If you could have that kind of energy that he has, because I'm talking this kid has a he's got the professor wit. <laughs> him he is on he's on 24 7 and then also the energy of a, a d1 athlete you know playing lacrosse you want to run i'll run what do you want to do you want to go to a, a, a party what do you want to go i'll go if you guys could have that kind of energy what would it what would it take for you to want that enough to make that call yeah call titan medical and say i need to get i need the john protocol that's right that's you know right. It's secret a, juice. Yeah. <laughs> this man's an animal in every aspect that you can talk to his wife. I have he's animal everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> so, and, and and I I I sent you a video and you optimized my health and made me better now than I've ever been. Which, which is amazing. Which is great. It's amazing. It's amazing. Listen, I didn't do everything. It was you too. So at that point, like, I got to give it to you. If, if I had every patient that had Michael Hearn's discipline and action plan, then at that point, I mean, we'd really, I, I don't know. We'd have, we'd have, we'd have a world of super soldiers out there. Let's put it that way. They had the secret serum and at that point, ready to go. Science projects. For real. And my looking freaky. Wait, I can't even put that face <laughs> in there. <laughs> Look at that peak. What figure? <laughs> The arm or the head? <laughs> Hello, how are you? I am good. I, how are you today? Oh, my God, Mike. <laughs> Put people to shame, dude. I mean, man, that's crazy. It's crazy. Somebody I, wrote me today. They seen the story like, I can't believe this guy is that old and like doing this. Like, it's, dude, I'm like, that's, it's, you define age. You define uh, the natural state of what people think that they're supposed to be at at that age, which is just, it's amazing. That's true motivation to me, to be honest with you. I mean, I've lived 43 years. I'm doing all right, I think. But when I look at you, I'm like, damn, man. I'm like, I got a lot. To keep, I got to keep going here because, man, I, I don't want to be put to shame like this. I want to be when I'm 56 years old, hustling, tussling like you are. I mean, it's it's, it's something, man, because, you know, I see a lot of different patients or just a lot of people in general, right, even the circles I run around. And, uh, you know, when I go to like these high end like events or like charity rallies and stuff like that, you know, I do a lot of people have a lot of money. Yeah. And they're a lot, they're usually older than me. They're not usually my age. They're usually older than me. They're in the 40s, 50s, late 40s, 50s, 60s. And most of them don't really take care of themselves like they should. You know, that's a shame. I'm like, man, you have all these resources, you have these awesome hyper cars, right? That are, hundreds and millions of dollars right and, and you don't want to take care of yourself i'm like you know I, it's a shame because i tell them I'm like and I'm not, I'm not trying to get down i'm like man i'm like you, know, you have all this but i was like how long are you going to be here for to enjoy this do you know have you got certain checkups have you did blood work do you know how good your heart is i mean there's just different things that you could do diagnostically and check to see hey listen how healthy am i so at that point like a lot of them they just don't they don't do it like the most common response is i haven't been to a doctor in five to ten years I'm like, that's a long time. There's no way. Uh, so if somebody needs to make that call, the number's right there, right? Oh, Easy enough. Sure. Right there. 
for <laughs> you guys that are here, uh, this is still an open place for you guys to ask those questions. If you guys are interested, if you're feeling something, if uh, you want to get the blood work. Yeah, I seen a couple of good comments pop up on here. I'll have Jeffrey pull those bad boys in there because I would love to see what they're they're talking about. But do they have to go to Florida to get blood work? So I mean, no, you're out there. Yeah. Common misconception. So you don't have to go to Florida to get blood work from Titan Medical Center. We can set you up nationwide, and it's so simple and easy. You just call or text, and you say, "Listen, I want to get the full and dead blood panel." You give some of your demographics, your name, your address, your phone number. You'll pay for the, the blood. And at that point, what will happen is we'll send you over a prepaid lab requisition slip into your email with a link that has the nearest labs to your location. You'll print that slip up and take that in with your ID to the lab. They're not going to charge you any more money. You don't have to show them an insurance card. They're going to draw your labs. And then we're going to contact you in three to four business days, expedite real quick to give you a brief overview of what's going on and then schedule with a, a, a provider for your consultation what you can do is a recorded video visit it's real simple and real easy to do all right so we have a question there johnny do you yep. mind answering that one sure it says yeah i've been wondering how the heck to get my blood levels i'm not asking my family doctor oh so this is a pretty common response from a lot of people um they go to their family doctor or they don't want to go to their family doctor because Sometimes, you know, people are doing their own regiment per se of what they're taking oh. and they don't want doctors to, to know this because I'm just telling you guys, I'm going to give you a little peek behind the curtain. Anything you tell your doctor, they're writing down on a note. I don't care how cool you think you are with your doctor. You tell them you're taking trend. You tell them you're taking this. They are documenting all this in their note. And the reason they're documenting this is, is because you're a liability to them. And if something happens, it's not going to go back on them. They'll have a document in this note. It's going to go back on you. Like, hey, listen, this was documented in your note. So at that point, a lot of people don't want to discuss this with their family doctor or general practitioner. Two, those general practitioners are probably not going to write the tests. The reason is, is because that is not usually in their scope of practice. They don't usually write for free and total testosterone or estrogen and progesterone. Some will do free and total testosterone, but I don't see any of the other ones doing the rest. It's clearly not IGF-1. With that, if you're using your insurance, it gets kicked back from the insurance company if they don't produce the right diagnosis codes. So it's a big mess going to your general practitioner or even doing something like this. So coming to Titan Medical Center, we don't report back to insurance companies. That's another thing. So when you go get your blood checked, and let's say you go to a cool doctor that writes you for all the tests, he produces the diagnosis codes. Now you've run those tests and they come back and you have five different things that are wrong with you. If you have five different things that are wrong with you, now this is not like on your permanent record per se. You know, when you're in a car and you get in a car accident, your insurance company finds out about it and your rates start going up. Same thing happens with health insurance. It's documented. So at that point, like you have these pre-existing conditions basically at that point. So that could be a problem too as well down the road for you. So with us, we don't do that. We get the results, you get the results, we have the results and that's it. So no insurance company is gonna find out and put this on your permanent record. It's a lot easier. You're not gonna pay two copays, one copay. You go into the doctor's office, you wait there for 30 minutes, you've took time off work. You go into a room, wait another 20 minutes, doctor comes in, might write you the test, might not write you the test. If he does write you the test, all right, cool. You go to the lab, get the labs drawn. Gross. Now you have to wait probably about two weeks to get another appointment with that doctor to go, go back in and pay another copay, or you can do telemedicine and get a copay just to get the results. So it's a, it's a big problem, I guess, or it's a more of a convenience. If you do go through Titan Medical Center, it's going to be more inexpensive too than most insurance companies out there because even if they use their insurance, a lot of people have high deductibles that they have to pay before it even kicks on and pays for their insurance of their blood work or sometimes prescriptions. just depends on what your plan looks like. Here's another one for you. How often should you get blood work? So this is a great question. I know Mike asked this question to one of our providers when he was down here last time. We usually say three to six months. You know, now if there's something wrong per se, like let's say we blood test you and we see something's off. Well, we might want to retest in 30 days just on that single test. But in-depth full blood testing every three to six months to make sure everything is good because every three months things change. 
uh, your hemoglobin A1C changes, that's the average of your sugar levels, cholesterol could change, all these different things can change. So at that point, we really want to do three to six months. I know Mike likes to do every three months for sure. If you don't like to give blood or you pass out, give him blood. There are some people out there like that. If there's nothing wrong, then you can go every six months. Um, I wouldn't I wouldn't wait the whole year to do it once a year per se. There are a lot of people that do the once a year thing. Um, a lot can change within that year or could be going on. And you want to catch these things in the earlier stages if it is so you can correct it. And at that point, be healthier. Can I do like every month? Could you, you do, could do it? Uh, yeah. Je and then, so yeah, Jeffrey just asked, could he do it every month? Really sure. Time. Yeah. Oh, how long should I wait? Yeah, opposite. that's a great point. I, I see what you did there. What of, of testosterone? No, no he said uh, blood work. How the, their statement is? How long uh, can I wait? And it's a funny thing. It's like, hey, I have to go to the gym. I get to go to the gym. Two right. different words, right. right? So it's so so two different worlds. So I see what Jeffrey's saying, and I'm the guy that does a lot of blood work. So I, it's yes. fun to see just the changes on my nutrition to yep. what it does to my blood. Yep. And so it's just me understanding my body at this stage of the game. Yeah. Again, uh, Johnny said, uh, don't wait. Uh, I'm at that yep. age where I like to keep track of this. I want to play. I want to stay here for as long as I possibly can. And I'll try to do the best I can. But that being said, what does Titan medical require if you are a patient, um, Tess, it, okay. does it need a, a check-in every six months? Sure. So year? if you're on HRT through Titan Medical Center, if you're on HRT, testosterone, progesterone, estrogen, or even IGF-1, you'll have to get blood tested at least every six months. So two tests a year, two consultations a year. Every other thing, peptides, ECAs, you don't need blood testing at all. Would I recommend that? No. OK, but yeah. there's not a requirement for it. But I would definitely see what's going on at least every six months, at least to say, hey, listen, everything's good. And you have a great peace of mind about it. Now you have black and white like, oh, I know I'm good instead of, yeah, I think I'm good. I should be all right. Right. It should be good. Let me, let me see. But if you do this now, you know, you're like, all right, everything's good. And if something's bad, like I said, then you'd be like, OK, what do I need to correct this? And it could be. High liver functions, your ALT, AST are a little elevated, right? A little glutathione, boom, done. We see this come down, great, awesome. You know, maybe the cholesterol is wrong, right? Now we need to train your nutrition plan. We get on Mike's nutrition plan. He gets us all, all dialed in, and now we have good cholesterol patterns there going on. So, you know, these are different things that you want to look at. Like I said, you know, you never know when something's going to go off or something's wrong. I mean, if your kidney functions are down or let's say your liver functions are high, that's not something that shows through right away. Like on the outside, I mean, like if your liver gets real bad, you might get jaundice and you start getting yellow and, you know, so at that point, like I've seen this happen to people. So it's just, you know, it's just certain things, you know, why even mess around if it's so easy to do. If it was a pain in the butt to do yeah. and you had to go in your general practitioner every time and do that whole shebang or fight with somebody about getting testing, I would say, yeah, like back in 1980, yeah, I'd probably be a lot harder to do and I probably wouldn't want to go through it either. But now, it, you know, you got call to, hey, I want to get the blood work. All right, cool. Here's the information. Boom. All right, cool. I got the slip. I'm walking in. I mean, literally, you could do the exact same day. I can send you the slip right now. If you have the slip in your hand. You can walk right in and get it done right now, right away. So it's not like there's no, it's all it's all about convenience too. I mean, you can walk right in whenever, whenever you want. So there's nothing that hinders you from getting blood work or seeing what's going on. Ironically, um, before we answer this next question, I'll give you an example on how fast this is. Yeah. Uh, we have to drop Titan off at school. We have to. We yeah. get to drop Titan off at school at eight o'clock. And so uh, I did blood work this morning. So, Mo, what time did we get back to the house? And we dropped Titan off at eight o'clock. Whoa, we were back at nine, I think. Yeah, nice. so the drive. Um, filling out the form, uh, you know, checking in, waiting our turn, the doing drive. the, <laughs> the, LA the drive. LA drive. Yeah, yeah, the LA drive, which is I different. Than, it's like a New York drive. Rush hour at yeah, yeah. Um, definitely. Yeah, eight o'clock. Everybody's going to work. Um, got over there, did it, went through all the protocols of waiting, mm -hmm. doing it, um, everything that uh, was requested of me for the blood work. Yeah. And I think I even do more than uh, I think most people, because oh, I like yeah. to see 
other aspects of my blood than instead of the um, foundation. I think that'd be a great one for you to explain too. Why, why do I go more? Not so much why do I go more, but there's certain things that you're looking for. But if you request something, that's smart for you right. people out there. Right. Um, at, when you get the, I guess, the subscription um, to, to do the blood work, take a look at it and see what, what you're looking for as well. Not only don't let them just uh, tell you what's going on. Do your part. And I think this is on anything. Do your part. Do your research. And that mm -hmm. way you understand all this better and all this, all the benefits that these things get. Sure. Um, we were home a little before nine. Jeffrey was here working. We we're going. So it took an hour out of my day to do the whole process. Nothing. Yep. Okay. nothing. Give it up every, every three to six yeah. months. There's an hour. Yep. Yeah, it doesn't take long. That's what I'm saying. It's very convenient to do. So at that point, people have no they have no excuse whatsoever to make sure that they're healthy, and they can do this on their own. So it's not it's not a big problem. There's another question for you. So why is it that that us bodybuilders at the age of 30, our elbows look pointed like sharp elbows? Do they look pointed like sharp elbows? So I'm not a bodybuilder. So at that point, you got to tell me, Mike. What, what I, are, I guess we just get so cut, right? We get so sharp. Whatever, whatever that would be, that or if the bones are growing, <laughs> then that's going to be coming off of some kind of uh, use of, I guess, it would be a, a growth hormone. It would have to be. But I don't even know if that would happen because, so the way that growth hormone works for something like that is, is that like Peter right now, Peter's 14 years old. Growth plates are still open. So with growth plates still open, if you did give him growth hormone, he they, they would extend. It would it, it, it would his bones could grow bigger per se. But usually when the growth plates close, you can't get no growth. So like when I was young, there was this kid and he had uh, he had you know growth hormone deficiency as a kid, and they gave him growth hormone, and this kid got he was the most jacked biggest kid there was, dude. We had a couple of those. I mean. But before that, he wasn't. It was like it was like literally like Captain America, super soldier serum. They gave him and they turned. I was like, oh my god, this is crazy. So, but when you get older, and usually it's over eight, by eighteen, you're not going to get any like height out of taking growth hormone. Now, you know your nose, your ears, jawline, all these things can change. But as far as like going like longer arms or longer legs, I've never seen anything like that. But who knows, right? I mean, I guess you know anything could happen. Yeah, it's it would be an abuse of it. So right? that's something like high that, doses uh, again. Yes. That wouldn't. That's a great question, but it wouldn't be us because we're all about healthy, right. uh, getting your body back to the regular amount that your body would produce as a 20, 30 year old, not full blown bodybuilder. Um, that's again not what Johnny and I stand for. And definitely Mona. not. Definitely we not. don't believe in the uh, overdose or double no. the dose hope for the most no. that's not uh, uh it's not sustainable it's not something no. that i've ever believed no, in and that's why either. i it's why i really settled and said this is the home of the titan with the titan yeah. medical crew right. because i saw other hrt companies and the trt companies go with oh you want this we'll get it that's right. Whatever you want, I'll give it to you. And I'm like, here's the menu. Pick off what you want. Just pay us for it and you're good to go. Why would I mean, you, why would you uh, that's it's such a old school 80s give the guy a little cocaine, he'll buy from you. Right. It's like, wow, it's that's an ugly. I don't want that kind of soul. I don't want yeah. that. You know, me neither. Me neither. Quality over quantity and health is number one priority. That, that's that's the main thing with us. I mean, we could care less about getting everybody jacked up. And most people don't want to get jacked up. Most people just want to have more energy, feel good, and look good. You know, maybe they take their shirt off from the bedroom with their partner. It's not. I mean, you know, you're not getting a whole bunch of the guys. I'm telling you, most people that come to us do not want to be jacked. They tell me all the time. They're like, I don't want to look like Drew. I don't want to look like this. Like originally when I first opened my first office, Mike, because I was a fan of it, I had pumping iron playing on the TV, right? In the lobby. And after the first week, I took it off because there were so many people that would come and sit in the lobby. And then when they would tell Sharice, like, I'm not going to look like that, am I? 
And I had to tell him, like, you're never going to look like Arnold Schwarzenegger or any of these guys in this. You're never going to train this hard. You're never going to eat like this. You don't even have the genetics <laughs> to, to get to this point. So don't worry. But after that, I was like, scrap. I'm not putting this. It'll be my personal yeah. TV, but it won't be out here. Be you can't have that conversation with the average Joe that doesn't understand. They just don't. They don't understand. So, so at that point, like, yeah. I So I, I quickly understood that real quick. It's like you have a bar and – you know, all you drink is Crown Royal per se, right? Or champagne, whatever it is. So you stock it all with Crown Royal. But the patrons that go there drink Heineken or Bud Light. Well, you ain't going to make no sales. You might like what you see. Yeah. You ain't going to do good business-wise. So at that point, you know, you got to kind of cater to whatever your clientele is to as well to a certain extent with, with things like that. So, yeah, I learned learned that, that lesson real fast. Here's a great one for you to, to, to finish up today because, we, again, for anybody that's here, uh, Titan Medical – today is a big special for blood work get over there and get to it but this one's about hey go for it johnny this is all you sure sure is there an age limit so yes yeah, so we don't treat patients unless they're 21 years of age now this doesn't mean that you're going to get testosterone at 21 years old so i would want to put that out there too as well but we will if there's a 21 year old that let's say has really bad testosterone levels and all this stuff we might try to help them out with more of a natural way to get their levels up, right? If that's the key case and to reignite, hopefully their natural production because they're very, really young. Um, once you get about 25, then we start looking maybe at an HRT option possibly. But at that point, 21 years old to get treated for anything. So if you want ECAs, you want our amino injectable blends or anything like that, it's going to be 21 years old and we've raised it up. It was 60. And I think we're, we've, we've made this, switch and the reason i made this switch where we started making case by case um scenarios of letting people get by to a certain extent if they're over 60 is because when we we're down in ohio i met one of your guys down there and he was like man he's like i try to sign for blood work and you know they told me i had to come down because you know for usually we we make them jump through a little bit more hoops they'll have to come here and do all that but the guy was like healthy as a horse he looked young. I mean, he looked young exactly than he was, who is. right? You know, I don't want to say his name on here, but yeah. yeah. He is actually was at 9-11, a, fire, uh, um, a fireman. Yeah. A sad, trust me, anybody on here, this guy could kick my ass and yeah. you won't believe his age. No. He's well over 60. Yeah. And he yeah. looks incredible, and he's he's got the burn marks from the 9-11 and stuff. But yeah, I could see why he was there helping because this yeah. man is a hero, a savage, and is how you should live life right. and a martial arts freak. All right. So I love that he did that. And he's the one that a year ago said, I have to actually go to Florida. Mm -hmm. Now I understand why he said that because yeah. of his age. My yeah. my bad for I'm not understanding and so i just yeah. learned today so usually usually it, and we do about up to 65 now but usually what we do listen over six years old and just being honest guys things happen things start breaking down in different areas and you know at that point like we never wanted to be the scapegoat for that thing that broke down right so what we would do is we say listen we'll still treat you but at that point we want to put hands on you we want to see how you are physically. We want to run an EKG on your heart. Make sure you're good there. Because younger people usually aren't going to have those problems right away. Yeah. And usually they'll be documented if they are. But when you start getting older, that's when things start breaking down. So we just want to we want to be covered liability-wise. We want to make sure we're doing right by the patient too as well. Because, listen, there are some patients out there that, you know, they don't want to tell us their full medical history. You know, they'll be like, oh, I'm fine, everything like that. And then we get their medical records from a doctor. They have blood clot strokes and this thing. <laughs> hey, what happened here? There's patients that write nothing on their paperwork. They write nothing on their paperwork. And then when they get in a telemedicine visit with a the provider, they, they bust themselves out. They're like, oh, I have this. Like, well, it's not on your paperwork here. <laughs> oh, yeah, uh, yeah, I forgot about that. Like, uh, this is a pretty major thing to forget about. So... We just we want to make sure we're covered in that bit. We want to make sure we're doing right by the patient and making sure everything is going to go well. So that's the explanation behind it. But we did make the, the exception to go to 65 because of that guy. Because I'm like, look, I told Sharice right there because she's she's always the haggler on this. And I'm like, look, he's healthy. So what? He's over 60 years old. There's going to be a lot of patients. If you're a patient with tight medical center before 60 years old or 65 now, you don't have any of those problems because you've been on right. the patient. 
it's the new people that are coming in that we have to like we don't really know their health history you want to make sure they're good and doing right by the patient because there's people out there that they're like i don't care it's my body i'll do whatever i want well you can do whatever you want but we're not going to help you out with that you know so see that's the approach the other companies would say okay yeah cool let's load you up no. and that's why titan medicals again ahead of it the numbers yeah. right here tell them that you watch the show today get over there get the special get your blood yes. work done and make this happen yes. i i love it johnny thanks for, i know we ran and held you up all that oh do you help me up i love this stuff guys i, I think it's great i think it, you know, we're getting some good questions out of it too so really happy to just be here with you man i, like I, I want i want to thank my boy tony cavallero uh yes. again righteous gemstones a next season and then the woody harrelson owen wilson movie with them um and then go follow him yeah. and then i will uh introduce to make sure that he gets uh over to get blood work yeah so we can see what's going on with him and and optimize his health over this yeah. next uh couple of years is titan medical only available in california <laughs> Yeah, no, that's yeah, I don't available in my house. Right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> um, I to make a satellite office over there. You just came in. Let's pull that off of there. Yeah. That's going to confuse people. Yeah. Like we said at the very beginning, Titan Medical is available nationwide. Is that what? Nationwide. Every yeah. new minute, guys. Good point, Jeffrey. Uh, I stand corrected. If for anybody is here, this is the complete opposite. It is available everywhere in the united states from yes. what i understand right yes that's correct correct and uh they are based out of florida yep. tampa beautiful place yep. and we're coming want, back quick yeah can't wait want more information the phone number is right there 727-389-3220 and you can call or text that line anytime and you get all day for you need. so if you don't want to talk to nobody text it <laughs> that's how people are these days <laughs> i'm okay with it Johnny, thank you, Johnny. You're a rock star, my brother. Thank you guys. Love you guys, man. I'll talk to you guys Welcome soon. Back and thanks for joining Bye, us. Guys. Bye, guys. Bye, guys.